Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. Game over! So today we're gonna speak about Nintendo 64 joysticks. I'm gonna show you how you can repair them by changing the, uh, the joystick. Because the joysticks on these controllers are getting really really worn and loose, so it's really hard to play with them. But you can order some new joysticks online and replace them. So I'm just going to unpack these new joysticks. So these joysticks are for a Nintendo 64 controllers, but they are designed uh, as the uh, Nintendo GameCube. So that's why they look a little bit different. So inside these joysticks, there's an optical sensor. So when you push forward, you can move Mario forward and backward and to the side and other side. So I will just take one of these apart and explain you how it's working. There's one screw here at the bottom. And two locks here. And inside we have a spring and we have a gear wheel, a, yeah, a half gear wheel attached to the joystick. Okay, so this is the top of the joystick. But here at the bottom of the joystick is where all the magic happens. So let's say this is back and forward and this gear wheel controls the side movement. And this little thing, on this print plate, there's an optical sensor. So it has some LED light or infrared or UV light coming out of this one. And then we have a receiver on the other side, in here, receiver and light. So optical receiver and some infrared light. And on this one, there's some small wheels with holes in it. And as you're moving the joystick, you move it back and forward. And what a optical sensor can do is to track how much you turn how many degrees you turn to one side, to the left or to the right. It can even tell if you are turning to the left or to the right. So, the light and the optical receiver are placed uh, around this wheel. And then you can see there's some holes in this wheel and each time uh, it, the light is getting blocked and it's getting visible, it, uh, can, uh, it can make a signal to the computer. So the signal looks just like this, depending on if you go to the left or walk to the right, or up and down. So when the wheel are turning and the LED light is on, it will make some flashing light for the optical receiver. You have one at the top of the signal where light is going through it, and then at the bottom you have the zero, and that's when the light is getting blocked, and then the computer is just counting how many times you turn to the right or turns to the left. That's why sometimes when you let go of the joystick and Mario is still running forward or to the left, 
or right or whatever direction it's because it didn't go back to the original hole when the um, computer was started so to solve that you can unplug the um, controller and don't touch the joystick and plug it back in and you will reset the degree sensor the optical sensor back to zero I actually wonder if you could make a speed hack for Mario if you um, take one of these controllers apart and just keep spinning the wheel forward and see if Mario is running really really fast or it's just normal speed like if there's a limit so I will make a video about that where I will try to do a speed hack in Mario 64 so here we have one of the joysticks and at the back there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws and two screws here at the top. You need a Phillips screwdriver that has PH1 in size. So I'm just gonna unscrew these screws and take it apart. Then you want some uh, tissue paper or a, a box so you can put the screws in so you are not losing the screws you can just tip it over and they will fall out on the tissue paper and you can put them at one two three four five then the two at the top Then you can lift the bottom off. Like this. And collect the screws. So seven small screws and two long screws. Okay. Then we have the wire here. It's important when you assemble it again that it set in place. So you have to check it before you assemble. These buttons at the side can fall off. So just put them back into uh, its place. Uh, when you click, you will activate this button right here. And the joystick is located right here, and it's held together with uh, three screws. So we just have to remove the set button carefully. Now the joystick is loose, so we just have to disconnect it. Use a flat screwdriver to loosen the, uh, the plug so you don't, um, don't destroy it. Don't pull in it, it can get destroyed. So that's the old one. Here's the new one. Put it in place. Find the three uh, silver screws. Don't tighten them too hard, it's plastic, so keep that in mind. Put the uh, put the plug back in.
and then put the set button back into its place. This blue thing can fall off and it has to be put back in. There's some tabs on it so you can only put it one way. And then just click it on to here. And be sure the blue plastic sits in its place, otherwise it will not work. And make sure buttons are working. And then you have to put the screws back in. And the two long screws, thin long screws, go here at the top. There we go, now we have a new Nintendo 64 controller with some GameCube style. So that's how you can repair your own Nintendo 64 controller with um, new joysticks. Thanks for watching. <laughs>